Frank, when you're alone and you're sort of finished the day's work <laughs> and you're you know, feeling pretty good and maybe had a sip of wine or something, when, when you think about what are your ultimate questions of reality, of physics, uh, where, where, where does your mind wander? Well, in physics, I think my questions are too precise and too concrete to uh, lend themselves easily to this kind of uh, question. But I do have, if I was going to have the answer to one question that I'm genuinely uncertain about and I would love to know the answer, I think the question I would formulate is, Will humans or has some form of life in the galaxy or in the universe uh, achieved breakout? That is, I think uh, we have limited ways of programming ourselves, improving ourselves, and so But you could imagine forms of intelligence that sort of knew their own blueprints and were sufficiently smart to reprogram themselves and just make systematic improvements. And if they could work on a large scale with self-assembling systems and uh, fault tolerance and in three dimensions mm -hmm. instead of measly two-dimensional <laughs> chips, what would happen? Would They would go to some other level. Has that ever happened? Has there ever been uh, a form of intelligence, a form of insight that's at another level from uh, what we know as humans. That's what I would like to know. And will it happen for humans in the future? Right. <laughs> that's <laughs> a, a special case. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very special for us. Yes. What would that look like? What would be the evidence of that? Well, if it happened elsewhere in the galaxy, there are two possibilities. One is that the uh, intelligence would find it important to make large-scale technical enterprises that would be obvious in liberation of energy uh, just moving stars around and exploiting their energy would dump a lot of infrared radiation and so yeah so so that's one way this is the so-called dyson sphere you would, you would see uh but i'm not sure that's what would happen i'm not i i think the the technology might be more introverted so to speak where you would just turn whole planets into gigantic brains. <laughs> or if, if it goes in the direction of quantum computing, quantum computing works best in the cold and the dark and mm -hmm. isolated. Mm -hmm. So maybe there are these super intelligences out there, just they don't want to be bothered. <laughs> they, they just, because the heat will, 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 will Yeah, will in fact, the, the heat is dangerous to them, <laughs> so they, they want to stay away and just, <laughs> just think or contemplate or enjoy a magic moment that they've produced for themselves. <laughs> Uh, anyway, that that's that's the kind of question I think about late at night when uh, <laughs> when uh, when I'm too tired to do physics or <laughs> or well, it's it's more than that. It's I I would love genuinely love to know, and uh, it's inspiring to think about, and it would even be more inspiring to try to help to bring it about. <laughs> Well, certainly what leading scientists like yourself do in the deep understanding of reality is part of that process. And when you think that in just, what, how long have we had real science since Galileo, Newton, you know, three, four years? Certainly not more than 400 years. Yeah, right? I, I mean, this is, this is, this is a, 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 a yes. an eye drop in, in the vast ocean of time. I absolutely agree with that. So... If I had to bet, I would bet that breakout will occur for humans and may have occurred elsewhere, too. Well, but we, I'd love to know for sure. <laughs> and we certainly do not see the evidence we, of it in the there's universe. No, there's no real evidence for it, right? So, in fact, all the evidence is the other way, because at least in some ideas about it, it would be very obvious. I'm not sure that's right, but if it is right, then it certainly hasn't occurred. And that indeed would put more pressure, if you will, or more opportunity on human beings. It would make us more special. So you could feel good about that or you could feel that's oppressive. Uh, me, I, I guess I, I feel a little bit of both. <laughs>